Hello, I'm Renata. I'm traveling around Southeast Asia in the next few months with my husband. We're in Singapore and in the previous video I just shared a lot of information that will help you if you're planning a trip here. So I'm leaving the link above and in the description. Now we're going to Little India. In Singapore there are mainly four ethnicities. Malaysians, Eurasians, Chinese, and Indians. And Little India today is one of the most vibrant districts. And no change? Hello, no change. Oh, no change. When you're using the bus, you need to make sure you have the exact fare if you're paying in cash, because they don't give change. We happen to be in Singapore in a very important day for Indians, especially Tamils. It's when they have a religious festival called Thai Pusam, which celebrates the Hindu god of war. It's a festival of sacrifices and giving back. To get close to them while they prepare for the ceremony, you should also be bare feet. People who are doing this sacrifice today spent the entire last month doing other sacrifices to purify their bodies. So the entire month before the parade, they have to prepare themselves, pray every day, you know, fast, to abstain from vices, mm -hmm. so no alcohol, no gambling, mm -hmm. no sex for the entire month. We're now here in the place where they do all the preparations, and I walk around to show you. I just wanted to be a little cautious because the images may be a little strong for some people, but there is no blood. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice of you. <laughs> that was so nice. This is also a festival of giving. This is soya meat. Ah, okay. Okay, and this thank is soya meat. Oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Well, it's enough. <laughs> it's so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a breakfast. Thank you so much. That is so kind of you. <laughs> the food is amazing. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Soy milk. Very good. It is really impressive. After all the preparation, they're not going to walk from one temple, this one here, until another, about four kilometers away along this avenue here, which is a very important avenue in Little India. This is why they have these fences here. It started raining, but that's not even a problem here. It happens almost every day in Singapore anyways. Is he from your family? Uh, he's my friend's uh, friend. Uh -huh. So when you carry this kind of thing, you really have to have a lot of support. Yes. Alone, he can't do it. Yeah. Uh, in the time, you know, the preparation will take at least three months. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. Sharpening wow. and uh, polishing and all that. Oh, yeah? yeah wow. take a How many times in a lifetime does a person do this? It uh, depends on that. They either do on a odd numbers, one, three, five, all depends. Some do it for life. Wow, yeah. really? This time, the first time Singapore allow us to play the music. Oh, yeah? Oh. This is so difficult for them to carry without music because it's really tiring. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
know from other people, your family and your friends, because it is very hard to do this. That's why the music is also so important to keep going. <laughs> They'll keep walking here along the main road, Serangoon Road, and <laughs> we'll take a detour now to see what else there is here in Little India, in addition to the noise. There's construction back here, music over there. It is a tough day <laughs> to create videos today. Ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. How much? 39. 39? Yeah, it's expensive. It is having all here with my batteries and yeah, it is it is great, but it's expensive. <laughs> Mustafa Center is a huge department store and people come here because it's got everything from groceries to electronics and it's open 24 hours. Prices are very similar to US prices. Relatively cheap compared to a lot of places in the world but expensive compared to Southeast Asia. Look at the amount of shops here on the main street as well. And good prices. You never see so much gold. what I ordered. This is Puri. We went basically by the picture. It looks good, so let's try. Mm. Ooh, very spicy. No, very spicy. <laughs> thank you, I just say thank you. Wish I knew there would be all this free food here to everyone. It's one of the oldest Hindu temples in Singapore. I was hoping to go over there and sit inside, but it's impossible to cross. Everything is messed out here. Let's go. Here we can finally cross the street. to decide to see another landmark in Little India. And as funny as it might sound, it's not Indian, it's Chinese. This house right here, the last remaining villa in this area. There were several decades ago. Probably also the most colorful house in the entire Singapore. What a fun day. I feel like we really experienced Little India. Almost like being in India. I guess the highlight of the festival is in the evening. Everybody seems to be out now. Tourist tax refund here. Ah, cool. Coke here is made with stevia, and it says here 35% less sugar. And this is regular Coke, it's not Diet Coke or anything else. Why is it not like this everywhere else in the world? <laughs> 